So how we interpret the sound actually is what defines music. I like to say that music isn't music until your brain makes it so. And one of the examples I use to prove this is John Cage's famous composition, Four Minutes and 33 Seconds, which was written for any instrument or combination of instruments. And if you read music, or even if you don't, you can look at this mute sheet music and know what's going on. Nothing. It's essentially silence or the sound of the musicians interpreting silence or trying to be silent on the stage for four minutes and 33 seconds. Now you might say, well, okay, I might not know what music is, but I know that silence is not music. But here you would be in a concert hall full of music aficionados who would agree that this is a musical piece. And it becomes a musical piece because their, their brains interpret it in that way. And it's actually a very famous piece for a number of different reasons, but largely because it sort of changed the way we, the way that we approach silence and the whole concert experience. Mm -hmm.